more cookies. I forgot cookies can be modified client side, so now I decided to encrypt them. And then there's a link here. Hints are for homomorphic encryption, and the search endpoint is only helpful for telling you if you're the admin or not, you won't be able to guess the flag name. I don't actually think these hints are very helpful at all, but here is the page. Welcome to my cookie search page. Only the admin can use it. If we look at the source, it's you know not much going on here. So there's nothing really there that I can think of to attack. They do give us a hint about there being cookies. We have this off name cookie. And so let's grab that value. And then we'll base64 decode it. Because cookies are usually base64 encoded. Unfortunately, that gives me another thing that looks like it's base64 encoded. So let's decode that. And that gives me what looks like random garbage. So they did say that this is encrypted. So I'm going to do sort of like that hopeful monster theory. I'm going to hope that they encrypted this thing with AES. And AES has this mode, the cipher block chaining mode, whereas if you flip one bit, you can flip one bit in the next block. That really sort of messes up everything, right? If you flip a bit here, this is going to be total garbage. So if I can flip a bit in the initialization vector, that will flip exactly one bit of the first block of plain text. So what I can hope for is that there is some single bit in the first block of plain text that tells me whether or not I'm an admin. And by flipping each bit here of the initialization vector, I can flip exactly one bit here. Hopefully one of those will flip to being an admin. So let's look at our code here. So we're going to open up a session to that website. We're going to grab the auth name cookie, base64, decode it twice. I will Iterate over the first 128 bits. That's the size of an initialization vector if this is using AES. My position will be that number divided by 8. That's going to be which byte I'm in. So then I'm going to take the bytes before that, unchanged. I'll take this byte and I'll flip the imod 8 bit. So I'm flipping one bit in the pause byte, and then I'm taking the rest of this thing decoded. And I'm re-base64 encoding it twice, passing it to the website, hoping I get Pico and a flag in here somewhere. So Python more cookies.py. So there was the flag as it came across here. It's base64 decoded once. And well, we got a website back. And there it is, Pico CTF cookies yum. Extra character there. 